All right, baby. So, how are you doing? All right. So, if you if you have seen this video, what you need to know right now is that you need to just try one more time. Pick yourself up one more time. Pull up one more time. Just try one more time. I see you. You're at the verge of like giving up because what what's coming through is okay. One more time, one time, and I know that may not be the lyric of the actual song. Well, that's what spirit is pulling through my. That's what's being channeled to me right now. One more time, one time, one time, one more time. Okay, so right now, at this point in time, you are being asked to give it one more time, one more tryout to try it out one more time. It's like you guys are at the verge of giving up. I'm also hearing you're at the verge of break up. So if you're in a relationship and you're considering breaking up, I want you to try one more time to genuinely with your heart and intentionally try to repair the conflict before you call it quits. There's something about you showing up for yourself one more time. There's something about you showing up for yourself one more time. Let's see. What is this about? Yeah. Showing up for yourself one more time. You guys may also have been... Maybe you've... Maybe, okay, so... It's this energy, this collective... This collective that I'm turning this message for. I'm seeing like there are different circles, different pools of energies between you. So choose... Take the message that resonates with you, okay? Because I'm speaking to different people at Presence Collective right now. So I'm saying, like, um, for some of you, you've been trying to be independent, like to live home, to find your own foot, to have to be financially independent, to find your own foot, and to be able to stand on your own feet, to be able to, and it's like what the things you think you've been doing, they've not been giving you the results you desire for yourself to be able to make these decisions okay but spirit is saying just give it one more time it's like your success is close your victory is close what you are wanting is close but you just need to give it one more time you just need to try it one more time you just need to try it one more time okay there's also coming through about for those of you like there's also something about you realizing like you holding on to certain things might be what's causing this okay you thinking that there are certain requirements you need to meet you thinking that there are certain standards you need to keep up to that certain requirements need to be met you need to do things in a particular way you need to you need to do it in this way you need to be elderly you need to be structured you need to that's actually what's holding you back instead do it your way just do it don't think about don't think about it fitting a particular mold. Don't think about it fitting a particular narrative. Don't think about it fitting in a particular box or of so it's something about you thinking like you have to cross all your T's, dot all your I's, make the package nice. No. And it's like you doing that is actually like it's your overthinking process that is messing up your messing up what you're trying to mat, um, manifest in your life because you're thinking that it needs to come this way so you're you're being very um you're being very what's the word you guys are also very creative if you're seeing this video you're also very creative you're being very forced forceful you're being very forced forced focused in your way of how it comes to you and this is affecting your creativity because you're not letting yourself just be free to be relaxed to be original to be authentic you're being authentic but you're being authentic with your crafts but in the way you produce it in the way you bring it out in the way you package it you're trying to make it fit certain molds you're trying to make it fit in, in certain boxes certain brackets you're trying to make it be like what you think the industry standard is and you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to just, as the ideas are coming out from you originally, you're supposed to let that originality just flow through. Don't try to modify it. Don't try to amend it to fit in a certain way of whatever the standard is or what you think the 
requirements are or what you think the product specification or the features have to be. That's what's stopping you from actually getting to this point of getting the success and the victory you want because you're overthinking, you're overthinking and you're letting that fear, that anxiety, you're letting it cripple what you're doing because you're already crippling. You've gotten the idea. But then because your fears, anxiety start kicking, doubts like, oh, what if, what if, but it doesn't fit in this format, it doesn't fit in this model, so you start to tinkling with it, and then in by tinkling with it, you spoil the magic of it, you spoil the, the magic of it, that's what I'm hearing, you spoil the magic of it, let yourself be free, let yourself be loose, do it as it's coming out to you present it as it's coming to you don't try to fit in a stand in a standard or mode of how it's been done you guys are also at this point of concern so that's the thing you're trying yeah really at this point so you're being creative you've been doing a lot of work but you're not seeing the results because you keep on asking yourself and because you keep on what i'm hearing is like yeah you're handicapping yourself so you create this thing but at the point of emergence at the point of distribution at the point of um production letting it out there you you limit yourself you put yourself back in a box because you think like oh it's only supposed to be shared like this in that way in that format at this time in this medium with this particular words i have to do this i have to no you guys are going to be saying eight, eight, eight a lot. Okay, so you've got eight here and then eight of wands. Okay, so you're overthinking at this time, debating, oh, should I go this way? Should I do this way? No, that's what's stopping you from actualizing the success you're manifesting. That's what's stopping you from moving into your manifested reality because you are keeping yourself back and you are just trying to overthink, over schedule, over over plan over modify over <laughs> okay you are really just over considering all the options all the alternatives am i sure i'm doing am i you are doubting and asking yourself a lot you know as it's coming to you be free let it fly however it's going to go your own is that your creativity you've gotten it from god you've used it to create something that was not in existence you brought it to life so now let it have its own life let it go however it wants to go hold yourself back from meddling too much hold yourself back from meddling too much you might have like significant virgo energy in your chat not necessarily but you might have okay Hold yourself back from meddling too much, from trying to fine tune too much, from trying to make it perfect, from trying to make it look good, making it perfect, making mm -mm. it's not about that. It's just about you being original, being natural, being yourself, being free. Being free, being free is the best thing you can do to your craft, is the best thing you can do for your art. Just be free. Just be free. That's it. Just be free. I'm being guided to give you a mudra. At this time, that will help you to embrace the freedom of your art, of your spirit, of your creativity, and stop you from meddling and tampering and over, over tweaking, over analyzing, over refining. Okay, be free. Okay, you guys, your sex, your sexual, sensual energies might also be blocked. You need to also be more playful with yourself that's going to help you at this time be more playful with yourself be sensual <coughs> so you've got sexuality be sensual this mudra awakens sensuality and sexual energies this is this kundalini energy oh so sweet so let your kundalini energy rise from the base of your spine let it ascend let it evolve see the snake cannot move in if it's in a rigid structure it needs to uncoil your energy has to uncoil you are rigidly holding yourself back too much you are rigidly placing yourself in boxes and in models and in formats and in you editions you're like oh it has to go this way no it doesn't uncoil your energy let your energy be free to ripple through you then you've also got healing let it be okay so i'm going to show you this mudra i'll put it on the screen and then i'm going to read the kundalini mudra words so you have to make this with your hands okay 
So this mudra awakens sensuality and sexual energies. Sexuality and sensuality do not disappear with advancing age, for our sexual organs and the respective hormone glands are with us throughout our lifespan just as well. Sensuality has two shades of meaning. On the one hand, it means keeping all our senses on the qui vive, being aware of what we touch, what we smell, taste, hear, see and feel. And on the other hand, it has to do with our sense of being connected with our fellow human beings in peace, nature and on a spiritual level with the cosmic forces around us. Open your senses and your heart to all that lives, all that is good, all that is beautiful. This attitude will manifest itself to your surroundings. Your personality will be able to express its attractiveness and desire, desire, desir desirability. I meet the world with an open heart and open arms. Affection and love flow back to me. I'm going to repeat that affirmation again for you. I meet the world with an open heart and open arms. Affection and love flow back to me. Okay. And then you've also got healing. Let it be. I you see the mudra. Okay. So this is the cow mudra. The Supreme Murderer is an effective help against rheumatism, arthritis, inflammation, and all kinds of pain. In chronic cases, practice the mudra four times daily for about 10 minutes. See yourself as a beautiful flower. Open up to the light and let yourself be filled up with it, drenched in its brightness, its colors, and its warmth, in its radiant healing power. Feel the warmth of the light. It wakes up your cells and gets your atoms dancing and singing. As needed, send bundles of light to those parts of your body which are asking for attention. I open myself, yes, affirmation. I open myself up to the cosmic light, to the universal loving principle, to the strength which gives healing and joy. One more time. I open myself up to the cosmic light, to the universal loving principle, to the strength which gives healing and joy. Okay, my love. All right, so if you've this message didn't come across your feed by chance, boo. All right, so at this time, I'm going to encourage you be more sensual, be more sexual, be very go with um do a lot of sacral chakra opening moves spread out your ties do a lot of kegels just get in touch with yourself touch yourself if you need to get your partner to be you know get crazy with your partner you're holding on to a lot of energy you need to release a lot of anxiety bundled down in your root chakra and affecting your creativity okay so you need to let that go your sacral chakra is your sacral and your solar chakra are also coming up attention that's why you're being asked to i'm going to ask you to try to spend some time in the sun wear a lot more bright colors a lot more yellows oranges they are going to boost your willpower and your confidence at this time okay give you the strength help you to step into the light make you help you to free yourself help you to free yourself because it's like you're the one who keep holding yourself back from allowing your true authenticity and your originality to shine through once you open up that block Success is yours, my love. Forward movement. Success is already yours at this time. It's just that you are disbelieving of it. That's why you are not open to it. And because you're not open to it, that's why you're trying to make it um, permute, make plans, make contingencies, plan, do this, do that, try to. No. Just let it flow. Just let it fly. Okay? Just let it flow. Just let it fly. All right, my love. I love you. Mm.